Um, yeah, uh, what it was from is chatted with Peter a little bit about that. Um, yeah, it was this uh, old injury that uh, Wonky got uh, from uh, probably when he, he was really young and just didn't didn't heal properly, and so that's that's why the, the back leg is the way it is, just a little bit wonky. Hence the, hence the name. So so yeah, once again, uh, thank you, Jessica, for 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 that uh, question. We we do enjoy it. Um, and so yeah, that's how uh, Wonky got the the little bit of a kink in his back leg was uh, from an old injury when he was younger. Uh, hopefully that was the right question because I know we had a couple different questions and a couple uh, young viewers ask us some stuff. All right, looks like that was the right question. So yeah, that's that's how uh, Wonky got the, the injury as well as um, yeah. If you guys uh, do you want to see pictures of Wonky, just uh, under the we show under the photos, just type in Wonky and pictures will come up and you'll see what I mean. He has an interesting uh, back leg as well. He has one tusk that curls down, sort of like a kudu horn. <laughs> All right, and yeah, lots, lots of people on the uh, the um, my pictures of the kids to Dixie. Which, once again, thank you very much for for your donations and really uh, sharing a great experience and with, with the the children from Dixie. To those that don't know, um, last uh, Saturday, October twenty fifth, uh, we took. Uh, 36 children from the local village of uh, Dixie, which is where Rexon is from, uh, to to the movies in Yelspreth. This was our first time uh, seeing uh, paved roads, as well as uh, seeing the movies and seeing them all. So they really had a lot of fun, and to where we had the sport. It was all made possible by uh, you guys, our, our viewers, that uh, donated some money and made it possible. And they had lots of smiles. And there was the, the one uh, young boy that uh, everybody says is a spitting image of uh, Rexon that I posted. Yeah, I, I agree. He does look a little bit of Rexon and reminds me of Rexon a lot because just a great big smile and was just joking around to where if you uh, catch some of my pictures on Facebook, I posted more because I did, I did catch his smile out of the corner of my eye. Uh, he was just really big smile and it was just uh, amazing t to watch and that's what I caught and I wanted to capture that moment and caught it and yeah, as soon as I did because he was uh, just joking around with this other little girl there with another big smile on her face and uh, as soon as I turned the camera on he just stayed with that grin and she just looked at at, at me and just eyes went wide and they, they know what the camera is and she just had a great time doing that and then other little kids came and join in and just were pulling down on his winter hat and having a lot of fun and he was just laughing and smiling throughout it all and yeah did look like a little mini Rexon and did did uh, have a great smile and sense of humor like Rexon and so that's one of the things that I captured and it was really great that's one of the pictures that I do enjoy the most uh, looks like some people are uh, leaving so uh, hopefully you have a good morning or good night and uh, I'd also like to welcome anybody that might be popping in right now you're watching an episode of uh, We Chat here at Wild Earth TV and uh, if you have any questions, feel free to log on to the We Social Network under We Shows. Go to We Chat and ask questions. Or you can also send uh, questions through the email where looks like uh, I've got uh, one that came in. But yeah, you can send us an email to finalcontrol at wildearth.tv. All right. Uh, Butch is just wondering how far it is from the final control here where I'm sitting to... The water hole here, where a while uh, giraffe is just coming down to drink. Let me zoom out a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's uh, maybe about uh, ooh, a couple of giraffe, about 500 meters away from the final control to the watering hole, where you're watching uh, the one giraffe uh, drink as well as the the one bot uh, coming. And oh wow, it looks like a really young one uh, as well back there. Um, but yeah, it's about. Uh, 500 meters or so to it. Oh wow, two two little ones. Um, so yeah, about 500 meters to the final control. So let me just uh, zoom in a little bit. Yeah, I'm just a wee little one. I'm not too sure how old this uh, one is us uh, coming down right now. It's always uh, interesting to watch the the giraffes come down and drink because their uh, knees don't really bend in the way that ours do. So they 
have this uh, interesting pose that you're seeing right now, as well as uh, some of it might also be due to the eye a little bit lanky, and it does take them a while to get up. This might also be a way that if any predators did come, they can quickly get back up on their feet and uh, run away. And uh, yeah, it's amazing. Let me just cut in a, another view, and we'll see if this baby kind of bends down and uh, takes a drink. Huh? So yeah, I'll be a little bit quiet right now. I'll keep my eye on the controls and. Yeah, this could very well be from one of the pregnant giraffes. We've seen a couple of pregnant giraffes in the area uh, recently, and so who knows? It could be it. I'll have to brush up on uh, how long the gestation period is uh, of it. And uh, yeah, if you excuse me, I'm just going to be going back and forth from, from the various cameras trying to get you different shots. So if I don't get to your questions right away, that's, that's the reason, but I'm sure you're enjoying the, the, the giraffe right now. <laughs> oh, okay, uh, thanks. Uh, Naya is uh, wondering uh, how I spent my leave. Um, as uh, some of you saw, uh, I spent most of it actually here at uh, Wild Earth. Uh, let me get another view. Um, but yeah, I was on leave for the past two weeks, and technically I start back tomorrow, but uh, since Pee Wee's gone and Herman's gone, uh, I'm pitching in today to, to help. Um, so I started back today, but uh, I spent the, the first week just uh, relaxing here at Wild Earth and helping out with the we we chat um, in, in the morning at a regular time, for, which is now 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Central African time. And so yeah, just helped it out and just uh, relaxed, watched some movies, chatted with people in the the chat room. Um, yeah, and then uh, last week around uh, Tuesday through Saturday, I went to. Uh, Found a small uh, little bush camp just outside of Hutspret, uh, a, a, a little town not too far away from here, and uh, spent up until uh, Saturday evening there just relaxing and actually <laughs> helped uh, rebuild a water pump for their pool while I was there. Uh, but other than that, it was just nice to relax and get away for a little bit. And I've been playing catch up with uh, email as well as I did uh, the Saturday evening chat when I got back. Um, other than that, yeah, just been uh, relaxing. The main reason is. Um, for my next break falls during Christmas and I'll be going home as all my immediate family will be spending Christmas at my oldest brothers in Michigan so I'll I'll be visiting them as uh, when I started Wild Earth I didn't get a chance to uh, say goodbye as I was finishing up an internship working with uh, sea turtles in Georgia so yeah I pretty much went straight from there to two here um, so yeah I'll be going home for my next break and so that's why I just kind of stuck around Wild Earth for a little bit and also, I am, just like uh, some of you out there, addicted to Wild Earth, so I couldn't really stay away to where I also watched some of the game drives uh, here at uh, Final Control. Yeah, the address seemed a little bit nervous, but it's understandable. It's uh, hot, and they just need to be looking around and see if anything else is coming out to drink at the watering hole. And also, I think uh, someone, Lion Lover, posted that the gestation of a giraffe is about uh, 15 months. Thank you for that. And once again, that's one of the other wonderful things about uh, Wild Earth and having you, our community, being out there because you guys have the pretty much the whole world at your fingertips. And if we are able to answer questions right away, a lot of you <laughs> answer them for us, which is really great. And uh, we can pass that along. And we're all, all of us, it seems like, learning new things every day, which is always a fun thing and a fun aspect and huh, here we go a picture of a uh, possibly mom and young one just uh, drinking nice little uh, uh, family shot and yeah, so it'll be interesting to to see all the little animals that will be little ones that will be coming out now to where some of the vervet monkeys around camp have uh, little ones um, and then yeah we've seen the warthogs with little ones we saw uh Small rhino earlier on, uh, many weeks ago. That's uh, not too sure. I don't think uh, they've been in the area re uh, lately. That's the one that uh, some of the viewers have called uh, uh, Reggie, the small rhino. Uh, but I haven't seen it. But yeah, there's been animals that have been pregnant, so it'll be interesting to see the, the young babies pretty soon.